All right, hey everyone, my name's Kenny, and today we have a ton of big news. Uh, NVIDIA just released the 3080, the 3090, and the 3070, or at least announced it. Um, and in the coming weeks, we'll be able to hopefully buy them, and maybe by the end of the month, we'll have some new GPUs to play around with in the uh, gaming, computing world. It's very exciting, and this is really exciting for me because, as you can see behind me, I am still rocking a Titan X from 2016. Yes, my GPU is four years old. You may have seen my three-year-old birthday video I made for it on my channel a while ago, celebrating its three years of hard work and service to me. This thing has been a folding, gaming, rendering, machine for me and the backbone and workhorse of my life for four years now. I, I bought this thing today. It came out in uh, August and I think it's time. I think it's time to move on. This announcement was very exciting for me because, well, I've been looking for something new. Um, a lot of the games I'm playing, I like to play at Ultra, okay? Sorry, you know, and I got an Ultra wide. I like to get the most out of my experience gaming when I can game and enjoy them, uh, the graphics and everything that the developers put into them. So if I can play Ultra, I will play it. If I can play 100 FPS to, and use my 100 hertz monitor effectively, awesome. So the Titan is kind of lagging behind now with a lot more modern games and it's not keeping up as well as it used to which that's fine, it's understandable, it's expected, you know, as things, as technology gets newer, my card gets older and whatever. This has been like the longest I've ever also waited to upgrade a card. And so I guess the question is, should you upgrade as well? Probably. I think this is a, probably the biggest leap in at least on the spec sheets and the, what we have in front of us, we don't have any real real world stuff, really, I don't think. Uh, at least not that I've seen yet. Um, from just, you know, regular people, I guess, other than just Invi what NVIDIA has shown us. And, you know, for the people that are sitting out there on their 1080 Ti's or 1080's or 1070's even, this is kind of a big deal because what I was shocked about mostly is the 3080 coming out at a whopping... $700, 699 MSRP for the Founders Edition. Now, obviously, that we don't know what the aftermarket uh, cards are going to be and whatnot. Um, and but what's the most exciting for me about that price is I paid a whopping 1,200 for my Titan back four years ago. Is that a you know looking at it honestly, getting four years out of it like that and still being to play pretty much everything you know, right now, like, really well. I, I could even probably go another year or so with that thing if I wanted to, but I, I read the specs and and whatnot on these 3080s, and it, it says the 3070 has the same performance as the RTX 2080 Ti. Wow. So I kind of feel bad for people that did get the 2080 Ti's and stuff. If it's it almost kind of feels like a slap in the face if you will i mean you spent i mean it's it's that's the way technology is always going to go for the most part you know you spend the money for the latest and greatest and then next year it's just you know it, your car leaves the lot and all of a sudden its value is halved you know basically so the 3080 i've been seeing reports that it's like 20% faster or so than the 2080 Ti, the 3080 is supposed to be just a beast, but it, it comes in, you know, just a little bit, a little more, just a, just a skosh more than, you know, half the price of a 2080 Ti right now. That's, to me, that's insane. I don't know what happened or, you know, where that technology came. And obviously that 2000 series almost feels like, I, I don't know. It's, it's an interesting thing it, to look at this. I'm just, Sorry, I'm just kind of babbling, but I'm kind of just shocked by all this. Honestly, this is a lot of very interesting stuff. And 
I, I wanted to just pose the question, should you upgrade to this? Um, the $700 MSRP to me, and hopefully to a lot of other people, I think, especially for 1080 Ti people, I think is gonna be the biggest selling point because that is, I think that's where roughly, the 1080 Ti's were like, what, 800, something like that when they first came out, you know? The demand for them and the, uh, was pretty high because of the whole mining and everything was kind of bonkers back in the day too. So that kind of jacked the prices around. But, you know, the, waiting this long for this upgrade path is probably, especially if you're putting away money, anticipating, you know, hey, what's coming next, you know? And just, you, this is going to be like, whoa, I can almost, maybe I have enough money to buy a whole new rig too, you know, with this. And I could get my new CPU and motherboard and everything along with this too. And, you know, because $700 for that 3080 sounds insane. Um, granted, the Founders Edition stuff with this new platform is the new cooler and everything. We don't know what aftermarket's going to be. We don't know what water cooling is going to be. Um, we'll have to see what people will do when they take these things apart. But obviously, it, it's starting to seem... Like the single, the single card is the new, is definitely going to be the new norm. There's not going to be a whole lot of SLIing anymore. I don't think. I don't even know if they even mentioned anything about that. I'll be curious to see if that's a thing even anymore. If that's going to be supported. But the size, if you saw in the video, the size of the and the heft of this card is pretty epic. Like the, the three slots on a founder's card. It's not single slots anymore. You know. I hope, I hope the new coolers and everything help a lot. Obviously, I'm a water cooling enthusiast, so I would love to see a water cooling uh, aftermarket for it. Um, it'd be kind of cool even to have, um, yeah, it'd be really interesting to see too, the water cooling aspect versus their cooler. How good does their cooler do? But regardless, the price and the size, it, the size is probably going to be interesting for a lot of people that like smaller rigs. I like the bigger ones. I like the space. I like to take up, a, you know, whatever. Why not? I don't go around planning so much anymore. A lot of my friends have kids and all that. You know, we don't do that anymore, sadly. But man, this card, I think for a lot of people, regardless of the size and stuff of the, the specs of it, is just in the price. I, I don't know why they're doing this, but... It seems like, it seems too good to be true, almost at this point too. And I, I, and I think, regardless, I'm going to get the 3080. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. It's if the performance is that much greater already than the 2080 Ti, and the 2080 Ti is a pretty good leap ahead of my Titan, my old old Titan, man. It's, it's quite a leap on that because the 1080 Ti was already a leap upon my Titan. Like, my Titan was the king for a very short amount of time. It's kind of sad the way it is, but... And I've wrestled around with getting the 3090 too, but at this point, I'm just... Man, I think I'd rather just go the route of the 3080. The performance to price ratio of that card seems... Honestly, like I said, too good to be true. It, it feels like right now that NVIDIA is in a really good place. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know what happened, what they, what breakthroughs they've had or whatever to get this much juice out of this new generation of card. It just seems like it's pretty epic. 500 bucks for the 3070, and the 3070 is the same performance as the... Okay, that's the first time I saw that price, too. But that's coming in October. Huh, these are going to be hard to get cards, I feel like, in the after, not the aftermarket, but the second market, the used market for these 2080s and whatnot. I feel like there's going to be a lot of those on the shelf. So I think for a lot of people, this is going to be a good time. Because you're gonna, a lot of people that are sitting on older hardware, even if you have a 970 laying around, man, you can just go and get on the RTX bandwagon because i'm sure the 2070s the 2080s 2080 ti's they're gonna the used market for these people are gonna want to get money out of these cards still but they're not gonna they're not going to be able to 
if you can get a faster card for less. So I, I feel, I feel, I really feel for you people that have the tw the, the second gen here, and and it's gonna it's gonna hurt. But I am very excited for this, what they're doing here. It's it's, it's gonna be very interesting to see where uh, AMD, uh, you know, can come into play if if at all at this point. It's gonna be really interesting to see what Big Navi has and. This is uh, quite the time to be a GPU buyer at this point. This is very exciting news. The price to performance ratio is pretty epic seeming. And yeah, I think this is, again, this is my opinion, but I think for a lot, and I think a lot of people are gonna agree with me that this is gonna be the time to uh, be upgrading. I think a lot of people are gonna be changing their hardware out right now. And the demand for this card is already gonna be huge if the performance is actually that real um yeah it's gonna be pretty pretty awesome i can't wait to see how this really uh really shapes up it's gonna be an interesting uh couple months here for sure and yeah i'm very excited to be re finally replacing my titan yeah this is gonna be epic i think this is the time to upgrade the time for me and the time for a lot of people. This is going to be pretty sweet. Hopefully we can get more news and stuff. I don't know what's going to happen. This is going to be insane. I think a lot of people are going to be frustrated with how difficult it is to get cards. And they're going to be frustrated with their 2080 Ti's and their 2080's and the value of them are just going to fall out, I'm sure. But there's going to be, uh, the market's going to be very interesting for graphics cards soon. And it's definitely going to offer a lot more for everybody, honestly. It's it's good. It's good, I think. Um, unless you just bought a 2080 Ti, then you're going to really be sad when you could have got a 3070 for less than half the price for the same performance. Ouch, ouch, ouch. But otherwise, if you're a 1080, 1080 or 1080 Ti or 1070 user, this is... This is good for you, for sure. So, hopefully this was helpful. We can put some comments below and you can talk about what I talked about or, you know, what's your situation? Are you excited for this? Is this good news, bad news? I'm really curious to see where this is going to go and how people feel about it. It's going to be uh, quite the news frenzy and everything around this topic for quite a while. Regardless, I'm excited. Hopefully everyone else is excited. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Definitely can't wait to read your comments and feedback on this. It's going to be interesting. Hopefully this video wasn't too boring and too stupid. But I'm just really excited to finally have something new. Hi, Cat. Are you excited too? Maybe he's is. Maybe he's not. Oops, sorry, dude. Well, thank you for watching. Leave your comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Take it easy. Can't wait to get my hands on this and play with it myself. That's what she said. <laughs> See ya.